Well, hello and welcome to Click Spotlight. And today I am doing my spotlight back at home rather than in um, the King of Prussia, which is where we were last week. And I have the very, very great pleasure of introducing uh, Karen Aurelio. So, Karen, welcome to Click Spotlight. Thank you, John. Okay, so your t official title is you are the Senior Program Manager for, for, in Education. What does that mean and who is Karen? Well, I'm a member of the Education Services team, which is part of the Knowledge and Learning Group in CLIC, and I've been the Certification Program Manager at CLIC since 2012. Hmm. Okay, okay. And be before you can, oh, first of all, how long have you been at CLIC and what did you do before you were at CLIC? Uh, I've been with CLIC at six years and I've had okay. various roles in the technology industry before okay. joining CLIC. Um, everything from a technical writer to a programmer and now my focus is project management. So it's good It's good to have that mixture of skills, actually, isn't it? To have a good um, different kind of career background that you can bring to uh, bring to your role, which is good. It's, yes, it is. And it, it's good to have the, uh, the coding background, too, because um, ClickSense is the product that I wish I had when I was developing applications. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my, I was in pre-sales when I first joined the Click, and um, although it was a to start with, it was a steep learning curve for the programming side, the scripting side. It was it was an excellent uh, base to form your apps on. So yeah, I, I totally agree. Now, mm -hmm. now the reason for these um, these spotlights, they're a slightly different format. So we're going to cover different subjects over one or two spotlights, um, and this one uh, is around the certification exams. So explain exactly what that is and what that entails. We have CLIC certification exams, which are expert level exams for CLIC View and CLIC Sense. Okay, and are they for, are they for specific roles or could it be for anyone? No, they're definitely uh, role specific. We have them for business analyst, data architect, and system administrator for both of the products. Okay, so so is that is there any of those that maybe is more popular than the others? Do you get more people coming on than the other ones? Yes, definitely. Um, in the ClickView arena, the data architect exam is the one that's most popular. Mm. And um, that's because uh, the way that exam was designed, it covers both the business analyst and data architect domains. So mm. a person can earn two certifications by passing the ClickView data architect exam. For oh, ClickSense, okay. they're completely separate. And yeah. I, would, I would say also the data architect is the most popular one on ClickSense too. Do, do you also find that um, it's a particular kind of company that comes on this, a size of company that will send their people on there? Or could it be from, you know, the smallest five to ten people to, to a thousand people? Um, well, I don't really have uh, specifics about which mm. companies are, uh, the people are taking the exams, but it, they are definitely geared towards our partners. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. So, and and I, I remember way, way back, and I oh god, I'm showing my my age here. I'm sure it's ClipView 11. Well, back in my pre-sales days, I, I had to do their their um certification there and had to go for an exam. Now, do, do you have to to pass an exam, and what's what's the format for that? Um, well, the exams are all multiple choice exams, mm. scenario based, delivered by our test delivery partner Pearson View at their ah, test yes. centers all around the world. Yeah, that, that's who I had to go to a local college, actually, and take take the exam. And it was very tough. It wasn't a walk in the park. It took me, I think, three times to go and go and do that. So it's not the easiest thing in the world. And, and that's a good, good reason for that, isn't there? You want you want there to be an achievement by getting one of these exams. Yes, a, a hard certification gives it value. People respect it because they know it's a hard exam. Yeah, yeah. And do you have, do you have figures around how many people are taking these exams? Do you get, yes. What kind of stats um, do you get back on that? We have probably, it's growing every year, obviously. Mm. We have probably around 3,300 in the last year. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a big amount, isn't it? That just shows yeah. how um, successful it is. And I, I, again, you may not know, this, sorry, and I will say to everyone who's listening, some of these questions Karen hasn't got beforehand, so do not, <laughs> do not, we won't judge you, Karen, if you don't know the answer. Let's no, that's okay. <laughs> so um, do you find people... Uh, because to get a certificate, let's say, you know, of any certification, um, the reason is to obviously further yourself, but also to help you um, in your career moves. Now, are you finding that some companies are asking for people to have passed this kind of exam before, you know, when, when they go in for their interview, that kind of thing? Yes, definitely. I've uh, seen job postings where people ask for certified ClickView, um, ClickView developers. That's the, the old role name for ClickView mm. Data Architect. But yes, um, I've seen job postings where they do ask for 
uh, certified individuals. Yeah, yeah, and and we're, uh, we're talking about we're talking about certification exams, which which are available to everyone. And I, and I presume our, our pre-sales people and so on will, will have to go for these exams. Is that correct yes. or, or yes. not? Yeah. Some departments within Click also require certifications, but yeah, it's yeah, it's but... primarily geared towards our partners. The the certification program was um, designed to ensure that our partners can represent Click in the marketplace, mm. that they have a certain level of skill and knowledge. So they're the primary consumers of the certification okay, exams. Okay. And, and that's good for us, isn't it? So we know, and I know when we take partners on board that there will be a certain requirements for them to put so many people on particular exams. That's right, yeah. isn't it? That's the yes. case, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we then have confidence in the fact that this partner will be um, of a certain level when they get involved with consultancy and services and so on. Right, and then that grows the click business. Yeah, and that's that is what we want, isn't it? That is what mm -hmm. we want. So if I'm listening to this um uh to this spotlight and I'm thinking, wow, I really want to go on uh, one of these courses. How do how do I get more information? The all the information is on the Click website. Just go to click.com and then select services, training, yep. and you'll see a couple options to open the certification web pages. Okay. All of the so information. That, what, the partner will go that way as well, would they? Yeah. Uh, yes, these pages yep. are also available through the partner portal. Ah, fantastic. Okay, okay. So um, hopefully there'll be a, a huge rush of people coming along to take your certification exams. And and and, and what, what have you got coming up in the um, in the future? What's what's in the pipeline for certification? Oh, I'm glad you asked, John. We are currently <laughs> working on updating our ClickSense exams. We mm. update them once per year. It it's very difficult to keep up with each product release because it takes six to eight months to develop an exam. Mm. So. We are updating the exams based on the Click Sense June 2018 release, and they will be available by December 5th of this year. Ah, oh, fantastic. December the 5th, excellent. So, okay. So this now, um, you said this, uh, what, what's next in the, in the list now? What are, we, what are we covering in the next spotlight on, um, on certification? Oh, we have other things in the works in the certification department. Mm. Uh, we also have fundamental level e exams called qualifications. These are hosted on Click Continuous Classroom, and they're designed for uh, people who have gone through the QCC material or have been a, a yeah. member of the Click Academic Program. It's a fundamental level free exam. And um, uh, next year, we will also be developing a data literacy certification. So I was just going to ask that, actually, that's very important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, to get the certification, which is a big subject to Click at the moment. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Excellent. excellent. So. So we've got more coming up, more spotlights coming up. So keep an eye out for that, everyone. So you've listened to this. If you want more information, go on to, um, on to click.com. Or I presume they can they could email you. Is that right, Karen? Yeah, or they can email certification at click.com. Ah, fantastic. Certification at click.com. So mm -hmm. any more questions you have on that, keep an eye out for the next spotlight. Now, for this first one, because this is a, the spotlight that, that kicks this series off, um, we're going to find out a little bit more about um, about Karen and, um, and what makes her go. So... Karen, can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Um, I enjoy, uh, I just got an Instant Pot, which is yeah. a multi-function cooking device. It's really fun. Um, and I enjoy cooking uh, chili and um, international dishes like Pad yeah. Thai and Indian food. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I will come around your, so Instant Pot. Come so, on over. <laughs> yeah, I will do, I will. So the Instant Pot, so... I mean, we have things here we call a slow cooker, where you just chuck everything in, leave it when you go to work, and then come back and it's all cooked. Is yes. that what that is? Um, it can do it can do a slow cook function, but it also can pressure cook and saute. Oh, so nice. if you if you ever have a slow cooker recipe where it asks you to brown your meat outside of yeah. the slow cooker, you can do all that in the instant pot. You don't have to get two pans dirty. Oh, fantastic. That's all. That's going to go on my uh, on my Christmas list, I think, for uh, for this year. So, and is there a particular signature dish that you have that people always ask for? Um, uh, probably my chili. I make most of the time. Yeah. Nice and we spicy. Can have, we can have a chili off then, Karen, because I make a good chili as well. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. So, is that and also is there a favourite book or film that you've watched or read more than once? Yes. And what? Yeah. What yes. is that? Yeah. There is. It. It's a film called Young Frankenstein. I've it's heard a of that. comedy. Yes. I think it was released in the '70s. I must have seen that a hundred times. I still laugh. Is that Marty Freeman in that? Is that the? Yes. What? Yes. Yeah. That with the, and uh, that with Gene the large Wilder. Eyes. Yeah. 
Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so, <laughs> and I'm now your um, fairy godmother. I know difficult yeah. to imagine if you look at me, <laughs> but <laughs> I can give you a superpower. So if you could have a superpower, what would that be? I would like to talk to animals. Oh, that, now that's a first. Well done, Karen. You're not <laughs> going to be a time traveller. Everyone wants time travelling. Talk to animals. And I think that's a fantastic superpower to no, have. And I would Actually, like I want them, I want to understand what they're saying to me. Yeah, yeah. I already can talk to them. I just want to hear them <laughs> reply. And it's whether they can understand what you're saying. See, I wonder if there is an animal or a cat somewhere saying, I wish I could talk to humans. I don't know. I might have I reckon, one. Well, we wouldn't know because we don't know, can't understand them. So there we go. That's, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Well, that's yours. You can now talk to animals. And, and the, the final question here for you, Karen, and thank you for being such a good sport on these, is what do you do in your spare time? Um, well, I am very interested in animal welfare. And so I volunteer at the local Humane Society. I oh, nice. um, trap, neuter, and return stray cats. And um, that's to... Um, prevent new litters from being of born course, outside and prevent yeah. suffering. And I also foster kittens. And I have two oh. right now. Would you like to see oh, them? Oh, do you? Oh, I'd love to see them. Please do. Okay. Please do. All right. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We shall, um, we shall, I'll just talk with the, the audience and say, okay, hope you're enjoying uh, this, this click spotlight. And, and as I've met, said many times, I will say it again, give me some ideas. I'm getting a lot more now, so that's fantastic. But please keep that feedback coming while um, Karen uh, goes and gets her kittens. Yeah. Let me introduce you to Fred and Wilma. Ah, <laughs> so that, that's a Flintstones thing, I can tell <laughs> yes. that. And they, are, they are gorgeous. And, and I can hear around the whole of Click now, people, a big wave of, oh, oh. I, know. I know. They're about nine weeks old, and I've yeah. had them for four weeks. Um, the, with the shelter, they, um, they need foster homes so they can grow to be big enough to be adopted and spayed and neutered. They have to be two pounds yeah. before they can be fixed. Okay. So when are these two due to go back then? Uh, they're actually going back tomorrow. Ah, that, no, that by must the way, be hard. It is hard. But mm. um, the idea is to say goodbye when you're a foster parent. Because then mm. it opens up my home for new ones. Nice. By the way, no animals were harmed during this video. <laughs> they're, they're purring away and very happy. Um, and there wasn't a catastrophe. No. No. no catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So sorry, you were yeah. going to say, Karen, I interrupted you. Um, so um, the reason why uh, foster parents are needed is mm. because the, the animals are too young to be adopted. So they want to get them out of the shelter and into a home where they can grow and be big enough. And we get the best time of their lives. Yeah. The, the cute four to, four to nine weeks. And then I give them back and I get new ones. Oh, fantastic. Well, well thank it's you really so much. It's really fun. Yeah, we've increased the um, the cap percentage of Click Spotlight by 100% now, and, and that is brilliant. So Yay. you gave me, um, you gave me, that, that's, that's just lovely, so so nice to see. And I'm going to leave you now um, with a fact that not many people know. Okay. There are registered deaths of people drinking too much carrot juice. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> would, well, would I didn't know it, that. Yeah? I didn't you, know that. It will make you see in the dark, but it might also kill you. So um, uh -huh. balance that up when you have your next um, glass of carrot juice. Yes, I'll have to keep and, that in uh, mind. Thank you. I, uh, that's, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much again, Karen. <laughs> thank uh, you. Looking forward to the next one uh, yeah, where we're we'll going a bit more into, into certification. So thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.